where's their need for more work on the physical theory? And um, I think you have people attending this conference who are who um, are know where the best work is and are doing it. So one is um, systematic, empirical um, uh, investigations. So Eric Leeper is um, is a leader in that. Um, and he's written a string of very sophisticated papers that, um, that assemble evidence. The other is refining the theory. Because the theory okay, that Neil Wallace and I did, and some of the early work by um, Chris Sims, is quite incomplete by today's standards. In particular, just as Friedman and Schwartz had to go back and try to construct data sets, we also need to go back and construct data sets that will allow us to think about the world through the lens of the fiscal theory. Uh, the kind of data that we rely on, that our theory tells us we ought to be looking at, isn't something you can just pull down off the internet. And so that's another part of the agenda, is to lay out the kinds of data sets that we need so we can look across time, across countries, and, uh, and we hope inspire young economists to, uh, to get excited about this. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of very nice uh, theoretical models out there and uh, the sort of next steps are to uh, take these models to data or find episodes uh, where these models are applicable and that's what my work focus on, focuses on in particular is um, exploring an episode and trying to find evidence of the fiscal theory of the price level at work. So in my research, I look at the recovery of the Great Depression in the United States. Um, and we believe that uh, this is one of these fiscal episodes where it's been very well documented that uh, monetary policy isn't doing uh, what modern policymakers would suggest to uh, help the situation. And so uh, we look at what fiscal policy is doing. And we believe that uh, it's fiscal policy that actually contributes to the increase in the price level and the recovery in the economy that is observed. What kind of I kind of do and did uh, is to enrich the model with various aspects, uh, and so crucial things are sticky prices, having long-term debt rather than just debt that lasts for a single quarter, which is the basic textbook theory assumes. Uh, so adding these kind of extensions then means that you get far more gradual changes in inflation in response to fiscal shocks and things like that. Then I try to say, well, a lot of the theory assumes simple monetary rules and fiscal rules and uses that to describe the policy environment. And what my work has done has been to look at more optimal policy regimes. And what you find in these optimal policy regimes is the kind of effects highlighted by the fiscal theory of the price level are, are, are always there. Uh, they're there to greater or lesser extents uh, depending on the state of the economy, how high debt level is, this, how the maturity structure of that debt and so on. I'm still not sure that the fiscal theory of the price level has been successful in providing us with uh, you know, real life guide to policy or real life understanding of such things as price levels and inflation. But what you'd like to see is a you know, smoking gun type graph. There's a standard narrative of how inflation went up and then went down in, in, post -war, in the post-war history of the United States. So you can tell this narrative about uh, you know, how inflation went up and how inflation came down through the lens of monetary policy fairly easily in terms of this graph. I, I think here the onus is on the fiscal theory of the price level advocates. They ought to come up with um, you know, graphs that are, you know, convincing, that tell a good story where, where people can look at that and say, ah, oh, yeah, that must be going on. It, there's an analogy to Friedman here, too. Uh, the quantity theory had been around for quite a while, and it wasn't until Friedman and Schwartz that they put empirical flesh on it, and that was when people finally kind of got it. And I think that is really the agenda, is how do we use this theory to interpret what we see going on in the world today, as well as history, and maybe start to think about new policies that uh, could spring from the theory. Going forward, I think everyone's trying to refine the theory to take it to data in a cleaner way. There's multiple ways of doing that. Uh, I'm, well, I'm happy to be you know, part of a community that's, that's trying to do that.